Hi guys, hi, it's Leanne from Uplift Coaching. How are you? I'll take these glasses off now. Um, I wanted to just drop in here and do a quick video and say hello um, and see how your Monday is going. And uh, just have a quick chat to you about um, what you could do differently today and pretty much focus on this week that will make a difference to how you're feeling, um, your energy, your health. Because um, a lot of the women I'm talking to at this point, because you know, I tend to, um, it, it's a beginning, it's a journey, they're just starting, they're wanting to change things. So they're lacking the, the basic um, foundations, right, which is what my program is about, the Thrive um, and the Empowered programs. They're about getting you back to basics, creating that, the, the foundations for your health, right, the basic things that make you feel important, make you feel healthy, make you feel, you know, energised, vital, clear. Um, it's about getting back to basics because they're not making their themselves a priority. They're not making their health a priority, which is obviously why we get ourselves in a pickle, right? So I wanted to just remind you about that and see where you can start making some progress right, or making some simple changes each day and changing your life means changing your day hour by hour, morning routines, night routines, um, eating better, moving more, going to bed early, um, less distractions, karma, um, supplements if necessary, like there's a lot of things that can help us as well with our, with our um, you know, just as, we've, as we're growing a bit older, there's a lot of things that can help us that make us feel better um, and also tackling the things, tackling the struggles, not ignoring the struggles, right? Not, not thinking they're just going to go away on their own because they're probably not if you've had the same struggles for a very long period of time, right? If it's weight gain, if it's hormones, if it's um, menopause, if it's um, you know, not, act, not moving, so you're, you're feeling quite fragile or weak or not capable um, or you're not coping mentally even, like you're struggling with mental health. All these things need to be handled by the right professionals um, and not ignored, yeah? So I just thought I'd come in here and give you three ideas of things that you can try and do this week that will help you with your journey, help you start your basic foundations. Because um, when I'm coaching, the program, the Thrive program is a six-week program. Each week we tackle a different um, priority and that, that is things like reducing overwhelm, bringing um, more calm into your life and, and more calm into your thoughts, more importantly. Um, it's eating better, eating healthy, simple meals. It's moving every day. It's looking at the habits, creating routines and habits that are going to work for you with a daily checklist. We go through that and you have step-by-step -step ideas and tasks to follow. So we can't start tuning it in and giving you back your, your energy, giving you back your priorities and giving you back your health, right? That's the main priority for step one in the six week. The 12 week goes into more depth. There is mindset, of course, that comes into both programs, um, but there's more VIP one-on-one -on -one in the 12 week program. So you, you work through the foundations, but you also get a lot more support around the struggles and, and solving specific struggles that you're having. Not that we don't talk about that in, the six-week program and the Thrive. But anyway, so I wanted to give you these three ideas because a lot of the women I talk to sit a lot. They sit a lot at their desk. They're, they're not having lunch breaks. They're not drinking enough water. They're not moving during the day. So they're actually sitting, not only are they sitting on the drive or on the train, then they're sitting their whole day at work and then they're sitting on the way back again. So no wonder they're feeling, you know, yucky, right? So it's about fitting in somewhere, either stretching or walking. I don't care how you do it, whether you do it going out around the block, whether you go out and get a coffee, whether you go and get water from the, you know, the kitchen at, the, at work, whether you go to the shops and you walk around doing supermarket shopping. It doesn't matter, but sitting a lot really matters, right? And a lot of women too have, you know, sore lower back, sore hips because of the way that they're sitting and they're constantly sitting. So I would suggest number one is trying to sit less, right? Whether you be, you know, if you're lucky enough to have a stand-up desk, stand up more, walk around if you've got a headset on, um, however you work. I don't know how you work, but I would find a way to make that work for you, whether it just means you get up and get more water every 20 minutes or something like that, or you stand up and have a stretch, you know, roll the shoulders. That's a really good way at your desk to 
just get rid of that tension, especially if you're posturally struggling with that, right? So I would definitely just shrug at my desk, right? So that's one of the first things that I would be doing every day to try and change your posture, your energy, and your health, right? Secondly, I always recommend when you first get up in the morning, you get a glass of water and you take a big glass of water after not drinking for, you know, eight, if you've been lucky enough to get six, seven, hour, eight hours, whatever sleep you get, you haven't had any water for a long time. So if you've, if you've got lemon, put that into the water because that alkalizes your body, so that's helpful to get rid of the acid in your body, which causes inflammation, disease, all that kind of stuff, aches and pains. So drinking water in lemon is really helpful. And a big glass, when you first get up, start hydrating yourself before you even have breakfast. Make that your first thing that you do when you get up, right, is you take care of yourself. There is your new self-care routine. That's your first thing that you're going to do for yourself before anybody wants anything else, right? So that's for you, just for you. All right. The other thing I want to talk about and I think is important too is I want you to catch your self-talk. I want you to watch every day how you speak to yourself. What sort of language are you using with yourself? How are you talking to yourself? Because I'll even, there's even, um, you know, I hear people, once you become aware of it, you really listen, but the self-talk is really, really important because if you're constantly telling yourself that you're, you know, too tired or you're too unfit to take the elevator, the, the stairs, or you're too, um, I don't know if you really want to say this, but you might want to, you might look in the mirror and not be happy with your clothes and think you're too overweight to wear that skirt. Or you'll be telling yourself constantly over the day negative things that just keep you there, right? So if we want to lift you above that crap and lift you above thinking, <sighs> negatively and badly about yourself because it constantly weighs on you right so even when we're talking about um changing things right you know people will use the language i'll hopefully get to the gym or I'll, you know like, this is the difference right you won't get to the gym because you said hopefully so what i want you to do is start thinking about the type of language you're using your certainty on how you're going to go forward what you want to change, how you're going to change that, yet that's where you might get help. You might go to a trainer or you might go to the gym or you might get an osteo to help you if you're struggling with something, right? How the, the how isn't as important as the decision of going forward and changing something. But be mindful of how you talk to yourself because if you're constantly putting yourself down, you're never going to step above that, right? You have to be aware of that because that is really important. So they're my three tips for today on how you can change your world today, how you can start changing your life right now. They don't, they don't cost anything, those things that I just told you, right? So that's another thing people will say to me, oh, I don't have any money. You don't need money to start changing, right? You need a better attitude. <laughs> we need to change our the way that we put ourselves down. We need to change the way that we think about ourselves and the way that we look at ourselves and criticise ourselves. They're the things that we need to change and they don't cost anything, right? So that will make a big difference. That's why getting help and getting a coach or at least having a plan makes a difference because you know how you're going to go forward, right? So if you wanted to have a free conversation, no obligation, chat to me about where you're at right now, what you want to change and the certainty of that, right? We're going to make you accountable but also give you the tools, the support, um, and the plan of going forward specifically for your struggles, right? Whether it be you can't get up in the morning, um, constantly putting yourself down, poor choices, eating after dinner, binge eating, emotional eating, you name it. Whatever your struggle is, you know, we can certainly chip away at that and work away and tweak them as we go, right? So, yeah, have a chat to me about where you're at and we can create a plan moving forward. Talk to me about, you know, the six-week program. You can join that anytime. That is, again, foundational. That is your, your must-haves, right? That's back to basics. Must-have mindset. Must-have actions for health, right? It, it, there's nothing fancy about that. It's really basic, but that's why it, it works, right? So, anyway, I will talk to you soon. Um, try those three things or at least one of those things, right? Commit to something to change that will make a difference to you today. Okay, guys. See you later. Bye.